So it's been a long evening. We've been here through the night. We've been monitoring the snails every half an hour to see how far they're moving and how fast. It turns out that the fastest moving snails are moving consistently at about a meter every hour, but there are lots of snails that aren't moving quite so fast. So we need to take all this data back to the computer to analyze, to find out the average movement and the average exploration of a garden by a snail. The movement of snails is not something that many people think about very much, apart from assuming that it's slow and not very significant. I think what we've been able to show is that it is relatively significant. A single snail can cover most of a British garden in one night. So we end up with one rather golden statistic, I think, which is the wave front of movement of these snails was one meter per hour. Dog owners need to be aware of where the slugs and snails are in their garden. It's not entirely clear exactly how the parasite is contracted and transmitted between slugs and snails and dogs, but accidental ingestion is likely to be the main cause. And from our results, we can see that snails and slugs take shelter during the day in crevices and in nooks and crannies. Some of those nooks and crannies could be the insides of dog toys or simply areas where dogs uh, like to forage for scraps of food.